Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna do my May favorites for you guys. I got the month right this time. Cause usually I always get the month wrong and I'm just like. Super excited to film this video for you guys because I gathered up a bunch of things for you guys that you might enjoy. I'll even link on the description box below where I got these, why is there here in my eye? Where I got these products. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> The first thing, as always, we're going to talk about makeup, and then I'm going to move into, I guess, eye care. I don't know. I don't really have stuff for guys, so I'm sorry. I don't have any lotions for this month, so let's jump in. Um, For face, I've been using this Born This Way in the shade Sand as a foundation. I am actually wearing the foundation right now. It leaves my face feeling so dewy, but not so dewy, and has full coverage. It's not so thick, and I love the bottle. This is from Too Faced, and I feel like I was stuck on the NARS one for so, so long, but it was very liquided, and then this one, it was more, it reminds me of Fit Me. This was kind of similar, so if you guys are looking for a less pricey foundation, this one's really good too. This is a dewy and smooth one. So this was kind of similar to these two. So if you're looking for a less expensive one, this is way to go. It's something a little more dewy, not so matte, clean canvas. So that's why I've been loving that foundation. Um, Two blushes have been out there for a while now. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon and I got Mellow Wine and Pearl Set Pink. I am actually wearing Pearl Set Pink today. The Mellow wine one is more of a light pink swatch it for you guys it's more of a light pink and they're so pigmented they're so pretty and this one's more of a light pink the pearl set pink is more of a darker pink which that's why i love it so much the mellow wine one is more of a matte blush this one pearl set pink does have shimmers in it so that's why I don't highly recommend it to so many people. It leaves like a little shimmer. It's really, really pretty. And it has more of a sheen to it. So if you like matte, I will go for a mellow wine. And if you like something with sparkles in it, then go for this one. But I got both of them because I didn't know what would look nice on me. I do wear highlighters on my face. So that's why I don't want to put so, so much of this one. Because it does have a little shine to it. More of a pigment more of a matte so that's why I didn't put so much but I do love the mellow mellow wine more so they're very pretty they're so inexpensive so that's why I really recommend these to so many people who are looking for a really bomb as blush instead of always looking for something so expensive you know so these are really cool and it comes with so much product it's ridiculous so highly recommend that the lip balm I've gotten, this is the antioxidant lip balm in Soft Smooth with Shea Butter. I've been using this every single day because my lips, I feel like they've been a little crusty and dry because I'm actually getting a little sick. So I've been using this every day and my lips been so smooth. When I put on my lip balm for anything, I just remove this and put on my matte lip and it stays a little longer more than usual. So that's why I'm really, really liking this. A lot this is from the organic pharmacy so it's really good for your skin so it's all good nutrients so yes that's why I've been loving this little too one of the new lippies that I got for this month I got the melted matte Too Faced lippies this is in the shade Queen Bee and this is more of a mauve look so with this one I never wear it alone I always mix it with something else because it's very purple I honestly wanted Cool Girl, but this is the only one they had at the store. So I'm like, I want one of these. I want to test them out so bad. It's so creamy. It feels like the one I have on right now. This is one of the Kylie Metals. But this is so creamy, so beautiful. The color is so outstanding. I eat and drink so many things, and then it never removes off. I barely touch up within time. So that's why I really highly recommend these. They dry so quick, so clean, and come on, 
This is a gorgeous color for the summer and the spring. I just don't like wearing it by itself because it's very mauvey and very purple. So if I put this lip on me, it's just way too much. I always mix this with one of my NYX ones, which is more of a pink tone. And then it looks really, really nice. It actually looks like probably the one I'm even wearing right now. So maybe I would swatch it together for you guys in a video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Yeah. So highlighter time. I love this part because I love highlighters. I love putting on my makeup and my favorite part is putting on my highlighter because, you know, that bomb ass highlight makes the makeup stand out so, so well. So one of the new highlighters I've been using before I put on my highlighting you know, my highlighting. I use the Benefit Cream Highlighter and then I place my highlight on top of it and come on, let's get it. So yeah, this is so cool. I actually got this for free when I got something from Sephora and I really, really love this. I'm loving this so much. Like, I'm so sad that I didn't even notice this before. Like, it's so crazy. This is so pigmented, so concentrated, so creamy. And I'm telling you, if you put, let me show you, a highlight on that over it, you need some sunglasses because that is ridiculous. Like, come on. Highlight stays on more longer when you put a cream and then you put the shadow on top of it. It lasts longer than ever. And I'm always looking at myself like, where did my highlight go? Like at three hours of the day. And I'm just like, I set my makeup, I did all I could, but my highlight is gone and this will intensify the highlight extra balmy for you. So look how crazy that looks. And this is just like the light. The light is not even doing that much justice. So when I go outside, you could kill somebody. Is that bright? <laughs> so the next thing I got from Wet n Wild, I wanted to try out their new highlighters and this is the only one I saw at the drugstore. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just try this one out. Oval formula, this is in Catwalk Pink. And it comes with four different shadows. So this is like a gold gold, a pink, light pink, and a yellow tone. I used these three together. And come on, this highlight palette is so beautiful. I never thought Wet n Wild could like pick up their shit like this much. Like this highlighting reminds me of the Twilight Twinkle palette. It's so inexpensive. And there's so much product and I actually swatched it over this Benefit highlighter and that's amazing. I used this one yesterday, so I've been loving this one so much. It's an illuminating palette and it's such a big pan. Like, it's so huge. Like, look at this compared to this. Like, come on. This is so big. So that's why I really, really love it. I've been loving Wet n Wild products a lot now. Like, I've never in my life thought I would be saying this. And Wet n Wild is so inexpensive. I will post the price on the description box below and I'm about to wow your mind. So for lashes, the ones I've been wearing recently and even in my last tutorial, I got them from Social Lashes. And this is from Amazon, this big box. And the cool thing I like, hold on, about this is... It says my name on it. Like, come on. This is such amazing packaging. It blew me away. I think it comes with like 12 lashes. And it comes in packages like these. And these are in Vixen. I've been loving social lashes. They're more wispy. They look like natural lashes. I'm wearing some right now. And I've been loving them so, so much. I was never into lashes ever because I feel like my eyes are very chinky hovery and if I put a lash on it's gonna look like I'm going to a club every day. I needed something subtle to bring down my lashes but just expand out my lashes. So I'm wearing, I got decided to go with Vixen because they're very wispy, spread out and they're more of like an everyday look so that's why I got them and I've been loving them so much. I've been using the duo eyelash adhesive and I love this glue. Usually I go with the one from Sephora and I feel like it's so so sticky and throughout the day, my lash will just like start removing itself from the inner corner or even the outer corner. This glue lasts all day. I have to come home and literally peel off my lashes. So I've been loving these lashes. I highly, highly recommend them to you guys. They're not even expensive at all. So that's why I got the big box because come on. This even sold me even more because the fact is my name is on it. 
Multiplying Mist Volume Spray. I've been using this on the roots of my hair, like this, just to get a little more volume because I feel like my hair is so thin. Like, even though I have a lot of hair, my hair is so thin. Like, up here, it needs more volume because if I flatten it, my head is going to look flat. Like, today, earlier today, if I didn't put this spray in my hair, it would be flat here and then really curly down here. And I will just be like, my head looks so small from the side. So, I've been using a lot of thickening volume spray to my roux and just running my fingers through it. And it's been working for me. So... I don't know, it makes my hair look more full and alive and awake. So that's why I've been using a volume thickening spray just for my roots because I constantly wash the oils out of my hair. If I wake up in the morning, my hair is so oily, it's ridiculous. And people always telling, telling me like, it's so bad to wash your hair every day. Yes, it is bad because you're stripping your hair, you're causing more breakage, you're causing the natural oils your hair makes your hair grow longer and beautiful, but my hair gets so oily. So if you guys have any recommendations for me so my hair can stop being so, so oily and I can just wash my hair like every once in a while, like every two days or every three days. I know it sounds pretty disgusting, but like once in a blue moon, like not once in a blue moon, but like every other day, if I could wash my hair every other day, then so be it. Let me know because I wash my hair every single day. And it's getting so annoying to a fact that I just want to get dressed in the morning, take a shower, get dressed, and be out. Not get take a shower, wash my hair, blow dry my hair, get my hair ready, get my face ready, go out. Like, it's ridiculous. So, like, it's a process in the morning. I have to wake up two hours early in order to get this hair, like, lit. So, if you guys have any shampoos you telling me to use, any, I don't know hair products let me know in the description box below and i will so look up into it because i'm tired washing my hair every day the crispy lenses i got two of them this is in the shade mila which i love these because these are so come on they're so big and i love the blue in them so i'm really really loving these i love crispy's channel and when she when i heard that she was coming out with lenses i was just like really that's awesome. That's why I decided to get these ones. I actually got these second. The first ones I got were these ones, which are Gemini in the shade Rose Gold. I got these first, and I'm like, I really wanted Mila, but I decided to get these. But I wanted these anyways, and I do love these. I wear these more because they're more thin on the side, and they're more of an aviator look and the cat wing look. I get so many questions on my snapchat where do i get my lenses from keyaustralia.com and the mila ones are more of a tortoise shell and they're more thick so if one day you want to wear like big big sunglasses and not wear so much makeup these are the ones to go for but i mostly wear these which are the gemini pair and they do have these in black so each of these cost I think both of them together cost me 120 bucks, which are $60 each. Desi's about to launch out hers, so I'm really, really excited for those as well. I love the packaging, and it says Crispy's name on it, and it's more metallic-y. I do have another pair from Key Australia. They're black, and they come with a black little pouch, not this one, because this one obviously says Crispy on it, but yeah. So I've been loving Key Australia Sunny. It's like, they're so nice they're very inexpensive and yeah i've been seeing them all over the gram so yeah so, yeah i don't think i have anything else much to say i really hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and be sure to check out my other videos on my channel and if you haven't subscribed yet please do and if you have thank you so much for supporting my journey here on youtube and your comments mean the world to me so yes i love you guys so so much and thank you so much for watching and until next time see ya